So it, with this video, we're going to start looking at our connectivity uh, into Apollo, into the Enterprise SQL. So we're no longer working with uh, the local SQL that's built into Visual Web Developer. Um, to work with the uh, to work with the, the Enterprise SQL, the server's name is Apollo. And Apollo, you have to be on the wired network at the university. So you can work with it there in the lab C231, uh, or you can work with it in the MIS lab. Either one of them, you should have um, full resources to uh, manipulate Apollo and make connections and, and whatnot. Um, so to start off with getting into Apollo, uh, we have already talked about um, setting up your password. Uh, so we've already done that uh, in, in the lab. We've also um, created the roles tables that we need. Uh, so those are in place. So right now let's go in and start uh, creating some data tables. So we'll go to SQL Server 2008, SQL Server Management Studio. Here we'll connect with your group name and your password uh, that you've set. And once we've done that, we can expand databases. We'll find our database. Notice if we try to get into someone else's database, we should get a permissions error. So our database, we'll get into tables. Here are all of the tables necessary to support role-based authentication. Um, and again, you've already done a video on role-based authentication, uh, master pages, site maps, all those kinds of things. So this shouldn't be new to you. Uh, just doing it on Apollo is different. Um, you're used to doing it in the local SQL. So now that we're here, let's go ahead and create a new table. I just want to set up some test uh, tables here just to make sure we've got things working correctly. Uh, so you can right click it and do new table. Uh, I'm going to set the data type to car car. Once we have that done, we can save the table. And I like to keep all of my tables grouped together, so I'm going to call it 183. So all the tables I create, I'm going to call 183 underscore and then the name. And that just keeps them all lumped together um, when I'm looking at them in the, the, uh, the studio manager, uh, the SQL manager. So let's call this uh, 183 color. And I can see my table's been created. If I right click it, I can edit the top 200 rows. Just brings it in blank, so I can put a little data in there now. Okay. So I've just put in a little bit of sample data here uh, in my table. My table is 183 color. So at this point, I can go ahead and close SQL Manager. Open Visual Studio by Visual Web Developer. Okay, I've got uh, the Visual Web Developer open. I've got my website open. I need to create a connection string to connect back into um, into Apollo. So I'm going to get into Web Config, and I want to be uh, here inside of the configuration. So here's a configuration. There's the close. I want to be inside of that, but not inside of System Web. And I'm going to create the connection string tab. Our element. And just kind of clean this up a little. So the first thing I want to do is remove
Our data source is going to be Apollo. Our initial catalog will be the name of our database. Our user ID is the username that we're using here in SQL, which is also the name of the database. And our password is whatever you configured yours to be. I'm going to just copy this because the next entry is almost identical. Except now we want to give it the name of the connection string. So CS for connection string underscore, I'm going to call this test. Okay, so basically what I'm doing with the connection strings, I'm removing the local SQL server. So I'm telling Visual Web Developer, don't use local SQL server. If it wants to use local SQL server, I'm going to add this in. If you think you're using, if you want to use local SQL server, actually use Apollo. And then here's the connection string that all of my databases are going to use. They're going to connect into Apollo. Okay, so I have this figured, uh, configured. I can click save. Uh, and now I will go in here and create a new web form. And I just added a quick SQL data source and a grid view. So now if I go in to configure my data source, I can choose something's wrong with web config here. Uh, yes, right after password here on the other side of the quote. So I need to be right in this little area. I need to add the provider name. And the provider name is system.data.sqlclient. Okay, now let me go back to default. And there's my connection string. I want the name and the color. Remember, it's probably a good idea not to choose star, but I'll pick the actual field that I want. Test it, looks good. I'll configure my grid view to pull information from there. And I'll save all of this up. And now the connection string is making, uh, the, the application is making connection to the database using that connection string. So now the theory is if that if that database was moved off of Apollo and moved somewhere else, all I would have to do is come into uh, the connection string or into the web config file and modify these the, uh, these two uh, pieces of information here. And now it'll point to that new database. So it's making this very modular, very easy to up, to maintain and keep up to date. All right. So I have that um, that bit done. The other thing that I would like to do uh, quickly is some of that uh, authentication, roles-based authentication. So let's create a new folder here and call this admin. And inside of admin, new web form.
and here I'll put in a details view just another way to look at it and I'll test this in the browser Okay, that seems to be working correctly Uh, if you'll remember from the roles assignment, we need to have a web config file in here to um, lock out the roles that shouldn't be in here. So within system web, I can do authorization. to allow the role of admin and I want to deny unauthenticated users. So that should look familiar from your roles based security assignment. Alright, so I've got these things set up. I need to add a way for them to log in, so let me create that real quick. I'll call this login. on the page I'm going to add a login control and I can save that so now I need to actually I've got the kind of the 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 infrastructure in place here I need to go actually configure those roles so I need to set the authentication type to from the internet I've enabled roles. I want to create roles. This is one from previous. And I want to create a user. admin role and here's a user that I had previously added I'm going to go ahead and delete them okay so I have one role I have one user in that role I have the uh, website configured to only let them in uh, so now I need to make a quick modification to the web config file. So you notice doing the role based authentication uh, web config was updated here to have role manager enabled true authentication forms uh, mode equals forms. Uh, we want to get in here so I actually want to change up the way this tag looks. I want to get right in the middle of authentication and I want to add a forms element with the login URL and we can set that to authorization login.aspx and then I need to remember to close up the form element I want to save all of this up and 
I'll view it in the browser. So here I can see the the root where there's no security. I can see that just fine. However, if I try to get into the admin site, to the admin folder, I'm redirected to this login.aspx. That's what we just set up right here. So if we need to authenticate but we can't authenticate, open this page. So now I can try to log in. And it appears to be role-based security. Uh, appears to be working correctly. I've got a connection string that's connected me to the Apollo database. Uh, everything seems to be good. Um, now, what I'm going to watch for while I'm doing this this um, this authentication and uh, connecting in, I'm going to look to make sure that under it, that app data does not get created and that no local databases get created. If the local database gets created, then I've got a problem and I need to stop right away uh, and try to figure out what the problem is or you can feel free to, to give me a, a call or, or stop by and I can try to help you do that. Because if you develop any local databases with this application, uh, it's not going to work correctly. You need to be on Apollo. So just a really uh, quick uh, way to get connected into Apollo, uh, create a, a table on Apollo, and uh, make sure that we've got the, the role-based authentication going.